Beep, beep, everybody. Well, now we're going to open up another product that we got from jampacks.net. Uh, I previously opened up the 1977 Topps Baseball Complete Set Break. Well, this is 1976, and there are 16 total cards per box. Uh, one or more Hall of Famers are guaranteed in each box, and what they do is they, <coughs> pardon me, break up a set and randomly put 16 cards in a box. Uh, there are a total of 44 boxes. We got number two and number three. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about that. So let's get into opening them and see what we find. Uh, we'll open number two this time. The last time I opened them up in the different numerical order. Uh, these cost $43.99 on jampacks.net. Uh, I don't know if these will be available when this video gets posted. Uh, it's October 26, and I don't always get my videos uploaded uh, immediately. I'll try to get the, push this one ahead of some of the others I've done since it's more time sensitive. But um, I did buy a 1978 complete set or set break um, some time ago, and there's a video for that. Um, I, I guess I'll try to remember to put a link below for it. <coughs> Pardon me. Throat's dry. And um, they weren't out of stock shortly after I posted that video. But um, currently, as of October 26th, they've got the 78 set again. So let's see what we've got. Okay, they look pretty nice. How's that? Mark Hill. Corners look pretty good. Not bad for a card at all. This is what the backs of the 76 set looks like. I apologize for glare sometimes when they're in uh, these... Um, card savers or top loaders the the light reflects off them more than they do off the actual card uh, here's a team card for the Indians manager Frank Robinson uh, there's a checklist on the back it's unmarked so that's always good uh, it's hard to get these cards from back then that are in unmarked condition that's centered pretty good too Andy Thornton, who would later be play under the name Andre Thornton, back when he was with the Cubs. Um, he, I guess he started using the name Andre when he went to Cleveland. Good power hitter, had a few great years. Larvel Blanks. Uh, here's a from the traded... Um, <laughs> At the end of near the end of the season, they uh, issued some traded cards, which uh, I believe they randomly inserted into packs at the end of the year. They they were they had they carried the same number, but they had a T on the end. And this one was for uh, Ro, I guess that's Ro, Ro, Rogelio Moray. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Cool, Dwight Evans. That's a nice card. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I hope someday. So we'll um. Even though he's not get a guaranteed Hall of Famer for this set in particular, uh, I'm gonna put us put him aside there. Uh, Mike Sedek or Sadek, I'm not sure how that guy's name is pronounced. John Candelaria. This is early in his career, isn't? It? I wonder if that's a rookie card or not. I don't. I don't think it is. If it isn't, it's a second year card. So that's nice. I think I'll put that one aside. Ed Halicki. And here's our Hall of Famer, Rod Carew. <laughs> There's a little uh, pink printing orb on the end. You'll find that on some of these older ones. That's centered not too bad. There's some fraying along the edge. And you can see that more here. But that, that's pretty nice. So we got a Rod Carew, Steve Ontiveros, Cesar Cedeno, another great player from back in the day. Jim Holt. Now here's here's a good example of 
the kind of centering you'll see in a lot of these older cards. Lot you'll I see a lot of these at like antique malls, and um, the sellers I don't know what they're trying to do. I guess they're they 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 think uh they, I guess they either look them up on eBay or they look them up on Beckett, not Jim Holt in particular, but a star player, and they just they give it the full price. But that kind of centering really takes down the value of a card. So if you see that in an antique mall and you see they want a price that is for what would be a centered card that's sharp, don't buy it. Just laugh at it and move on. <laughs> Batting leaders, we got Bill Madlock back when he hit 354. Ted Simmons, who just got into the hall not that long ago, and Manny Sanguian, who was uh, one of the better hitting catchers of the 70s. Um... I'd definitely make a case for Bill Madlock for Hall of Fame. I understand later on in his career, I guess he got his name got mentioned in some drug investigations. I I don't remember the situation, and maybe that's one. Of, well, he, he all he did was have four batting titles. He didn't really uh, have any really bigger numbers, but he did finish his career over three hundred and did finish his career over two thousand hits and. To me, that's a, that, that's a potential case for Hall of Fame. Uh, so since, since Ted Simmons is on this car, we're going to move Nathan the Gnome over. Boop. And uh, put him there. Larry Dierker, um, he's in the Astros Hall of Fame. So, <laughs> uh, one of the top pitchers the Astros had from back in their early years. You can see he had a 20 win season back in 69. And Rick Wise, and here's a nice printing orb down here. Hopefully, I'll try to get that to focus. I don't know if it's focusing too well. Uh, well, you don't need it. It's just a printing orb. <laughs> I like pointing them out. I don't know why. I think they're kind of neat. If you think printing orbs on old cards are neat, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's, we're opening up box three of 44 now. <clears throat> let's see what we can find in here. Uh, let's move these back and give us a little bit more room. Because we're bound to have at least one more card to put in that line up there. And as you can see, these are double wrapped in bubble wrap. So well protected. Tom Hutton. <laughs> we just pulled him in the 77 pool. And uh, Dick Ruthven. Wow, look at the, that that photo is just something. It's kind of a grainy photo they've got of him there. I don't know if that was printing issue or not. Here's another one of those traded cards for John Ellis. Al Raboski. Now this one does have a, a bit of a corner ding you can see there. So not everything is going to be perfect. And they warn you about this on the website that some cards may have issues like that. Al Raboski. Dale Murray, Jesse Jefferson, Jack Billingham, Glenn Borgman, Ron Fairley, Merv Rettenmund, Bob Montgomery. Here's a Brewers team card. And I think we have a slab back there. And the checklist is unmarked, so that's nice. Sal Bando had a pretty great career with the, the A's and uh, later on with the Brewers. Rudy May, Grant Jackson, and holy crap, it's Hank Aaron. All right, that is cool. And it's in a graded slab, graded six. And I'm looking it over. It looks pretty good. I'd almost want to give that a higher grade than a six. There's the back of his card. So I'm really, really thrilled to get this. 
Hey, Karen. I believe this is his last, uh, last card of his active, during his active career. I don't believe there was a 77 card with him. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Uh, I try to uh, qualify that with the word guess because I am actually guessing. So I am very pleased with that. So that is uh, the 1976 Top Baseball Complete Set Break. Um, 16 cards per box, one or more Hall of Famers guaranteed per box. Um, 44 boxes total. Uh, get them while they're hot. <laughs> like I said, I'll try to get this video up. Um, I've got a whole bunch of videos before this one that I haven't loaded, but I'm going to try to push this one out there earlier and put it ahead of the other ones. Uh, I may load the 77 and 76 on the same day, maybe. Um, I'll try to do that. I have um, two more videos to load from a trip I made down to South Central Pennsylvania with my wife and dog and um, just hunting for baseball cards and I've loaded up the first two parts I've got two more uh, I need to load the uh, October Jam Packs uh, old school box um, so yeah somehow I gotta squeeze all this in in October um, otherwise if I posted this in the order that I did the videos, um, this won't make it up until mid-November. And by then, these will probably have sold out. But like I said, I bought 78, uh, uh, two boxes from 1978 that they had uh, a couple months ago, I think. And they've got it up again. So they, they did another set break. So they may be doing this on and off. Um, they don't really make any an announcements on the website. You just, you just make sure you check it in the beginning of the month because that's usually when things start appearing. Although most of these things showed up in mid-October. So we got the Hank Aaron, the batting leaders that has Hall of Famer Ted Simmons on it, Bill Madlock, a possible Hall of Fame candidate, Dwight Evans should be a Hall of Famer, and Hall of Famer Rod Crew in these two boxes. And what did I say these were? $43.99 a box. So give jampacks.net a visit um, and check out what, see what they have. Uh, maybe you'll find something else that I haven't bought on there that, that uh, piques your interest. Thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Um, beep, beep, everybody. <laughs>